Hey YouTube, MDEX Music here. Welcome back. We're super excited today because we're gonna drop Polytonus 3. We're gonna tell you all the ins and outs of how to use the app and what it does. So if you remember from the past or if you're familiar with some of our other Polytonus products, this is basically just an extension of that. So whereas in Polytonus 1, we did uh, multi-pitch ear training and, and Polytonus 2 was interval training and, and chords. And now with Polytonus 3, we get to study and listen to three main source scales and all of their modes. So this is gonna be really useful for studying um, each scale that we have listed in the app and the subtle nuances and changes by altering this scale degree or, or that scale degree to get the mode that you're looking for. So let's just jump right in and see how Polytonus 3 is gonna make you a better musician. So one of the very first things you're gonna see when you open up the app is, is our help manual, which is basically what we're gonna walk you through today, page by page. So if you forget anything in the video, you can always reference the manual embedded within the app. So you can choose to swipe through this and see what it has to say, or we can just close the manual and get it started. So a lot like Polytonus 2, you're hearing all of the, uh, uh, the, so the, the source scales or the modes from the source scales play as the spheres drop in. And we have these three different colored spheres representing the three source scales we mentioned earlier. So the black ones are all the modes of Ionian. So just basic major scale and all the alterations that come from that, Dorian, Phrygian, Mixolydian, and so on. And then our blue spheres are our melodic minor. And our red spheres are the harmonic minor. And all the modes that come from those three sources. So as with Polytonus 2, uh, Polytonus 3 is going to use this reverse ear training effect where rather than hear something, name it, uh, you have to produce what it asks for. So give me this or make this sound what I want it to sound like, not name what you're hearing. And also a lot like Polytonus 2, this is going to use machine learning to pinpoint the things you need to work on and more or less leave alone the stuff it recognizes that you're proficient in. And it will also decide when you're ready to level up. So there's very little for you to worry about or do except just interact with the app. Let's just jump right in and do an example and talk about all the subtleties within the app and how you're going to use it and how you're going to interact with it and any questions that might arise through using it. So it's asking for Dorian, tells me that this should have a flat three and a flat seven. I'm just gonna go with my first instinct and not overanalyze it too much. Sometimes that's the best way to do it, is just if you hear what you think you relate as Dorian or whatever it is, Phrygian, Lydian, try to go with that. Notice there, I didn't even toggle the moon. It basically rang as the Dorian color to me, so I just went with it. And granted, yes, it's a 50-50 guess at this point because there's only one moon. As you level up, you'll have two and up to as many uh, as three moons that will alter three random scale degrees in three random directions, either up or down. Okay, so now I'm in the medium patterns level, which has two half moons. Each half moon controls one degree in the scale. So I can hear this moon is controlling the third, and this one is controlling the seventh. So I'll leave it like that so you can see what I'm talking about. That was not Phrygian because the seventh was major. Now you can tap on the half moons to see what they were controlling. Let's try another one. Lydian. There's two ways to approach this. You can try to listen to the intervals one by one as I did on the previous example, 
or you can try to hear the entire sound of the song. In harder levels, you will not have the luxury of listening to each degree because the music will be more complex, containing lots of harmony, so you'll have to trust your ears to tell you if the mode playing is the one you're being asked for. You can alter the tempo if you want to listen to individual degrees. But I think Lydian is a nice mode to try and create by just listening to the color of the entire song. So that half moon clearly changes to 7th, making the sound a Lydian flat 7. And this moon changes it so that it sounds Ionian. So if I put the moons back to their initial state, you can feel the Lydian sound. This is the level of ear training you want to achieve. In the end, it really doesn't matter what the moons are controlling because you can hear the mode by color. All right, let's see what's next. That's not Mixo. Nope, not that either. Okay, that's Mixo, I can hear it. As you can see, this is a great method to improve your ear training skills. I promise that after using Polytonus 3 for a while, you'll start hearing the sound of each mode as an entire color. And you can see at the bottom of the screen, Polytonus 3 is telling you information about where you're at within your current level. So right now we're in training and our root is C. So we're always kind of starting uh, with C. That will change as you level up. The keys will randomize, the melodies will become more complex, less linear. And then to the left of that, the score with regard to Ionian modes and where I am in that uh, level of Ionian modes, as opposed to harmonic minor or melodic minor modes. So if I leave the settings alone as they are now, what's going to happen is it's going to work through all the modes of Ionian until I'm proficient with them. And then it's going to jump over to melodic minor and go through all of those. And then it will graduate me over to harmonic minor. But if I want to concentrate on any one of those source scales and their modes, I can do that here. If I want to do just harmonic minor, I can do that as well. As on top of that, I can adjust the master volume and the piano volume if I want to here within this customization panel. All right, so let's do some harmonic minor modes. Let's play. All right, so that's a pretty, that's a pretty uh, straightforward example. It's just kind of going right through the scale. To me, it sounds like that six is off. So I'm gonna toggle this and then select my answer. So that one was pretty straightforward because it was just a regular old harmonic minor mode. Uh, now it's going to do another mode of harmonic minor, which is gonna be a bit peculiar So here we have Locrian Natural 13. Now, if I have no idea what this is supposed to sound like, 
What I want to do is pay close attention to the formula at the top of the page. Is it supposed to have a flat two, a flat three, and so on? And try to pick out those tones as I'm listening to the example. And through enough repetition of that, I'm going to slow it down to make that easier. And through enough repetition of that, hopefully the color of Locri and Natural 13 becomes more apparent to me as I do it. So if I alter this, So right there, it didn't, it didn't change any of the lower tones of the scale. It, it sounds like it altered the fifth, making it a natural five, where we want a flat five. So let's just go back to the other example and just compare and contrast real quick. Right. So that's what it sounds like the flat five that we need if we want Locrian natural 13. So there we go. Well done. Correct answer submitted. Now I want to know what mode of harmonic minor was that? So I can go back to the main menu. It's gonna reload all the, all the modes for me. And I wanna know basically if I start on the second scale degree of a harmonic minor scale, will I, will I get Locrian natural 13 or do I have to start on the fifth? Like which mode of that source scale were we just listening to? We know it's not the one because that's the that's the harmonic minor scale. If I go to two, it'll tell me right there, Locrian natural 13. That is the second mode of harmonic minor. So that's exactly the one we were working with. And as you can go through and listen to any scale. So Ionian sharp five is the third mode. Dorian sharp four is the fourth mode and so on. So you can exactly uh, pick out on your own which mode of the source scale you're dealing with, hear it, and then assign the name to that sound or that color. So there you guys have it. There's Polytonus 3. If you like what you saw today, definitely check out Polytonus 1 and Polytonus 2. Available for Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Click on the like and subscribe buttons. Smash on that notification bell to stay up to date on current content. Thanks for watching.